The new cloud document features in Adobe XD deliver a terrific platform on which you and your design colleagues can share and manage your work. Let's take a closer look at this workflow. I'm here in Adobe XD and I've just finished the latest iteration of a mobile application design. Part of the work includes something known as an onboarding tour or a tutorial that I'll step the viewer of the application through to acclimate them to my interface design. Now, a colleague of mine, Ike, wants to test the onboarding screens with real users in some usability studies. As his testing proceeds, I'll likely be asked to go back and make some adjustments to the initial design. So to keep things simple and avoid any confusion, what I'd like to do is have both of us work with the same XD source document. The new Creative Cloud sharing feature will help a lot in this scenario. I've already gone into the onboarding tour layout and I've defined a wire flow that steps you through the tutorial. All I need to do now is give Ike access to my work. To do so, I'm going to come over to the share button and I'll click on it. Now, if you're familiar with XD, you'll notice there's a few things that have changed in this window. We renamed share prototypes to share for review. We also renamed share design specs to share for development. Both these changes are to make the workflows a bit easier for our users to recognize. The functionality is still basically the same between those two actions. I'll go ahead and select share document to share this file with Ike. And the first thing that XD does is mention that I need to save the file as a cloud document in order to share it with him. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Save As button. And I'm going to keep the name the same, but make sure that it's going to go to a cloud document rather than save back out to my local computer. I'll hit the Save button. And now that that's been uploaded to the cloud, I can go ahead and add Ike's name. So I'm going to come in and start to type his name. And I'll select it. I'll give him a quick note. And then I'll go ahead and hit the Invite button. From here, let me log in as Ike and show you what his experience is like. I'm going to switch over to Ike's email. And I see in his inbox, he's received an invitation to edit the document sent by me by way of the Creative Cloud. Alternatively, he would also receive a notification in his Creative Cloud app, letting him know that the document was available. From here, he can come into the email and click the Open button. If he has XD open already, it will open directly. If not, he's encouraged to open up XD. And he can now continue to make his changes to this document. If at any time I no longer want to share the document with him, I can remove his name from that share window where I added it. Alternatively, if I delete the document, he would no longer have access. If I switch over to his home screen in XD and come down to the shared with you area, I can see the document is there. This is where he would be able to access it. If he continues to work on the document here and makes changes, he can go ahead and save his changes to that cloud version. If it happens that we're both working on the same version at the same time, the first person to save their document will update the cloud version the second person will be offered the opportunity to create a copy of that original version so that our file changes don't conflict with one another. Now this is just a first step towards cloud sharing and cloud documents. You can look forward in 2019 as we flesh out the roadmap and the feature set for this offering. I encourage you to give it a try.